You need something to make your small business post in Facebook news feeds stand out or grab attention. Videos are great, but recently racing bar charts are a big hit. You used to have to know programming to achieve one, but I'm going to show you how to do it without any programming. Let me show you how. To achieve this, you're going to need three items. Firstly, a spreadsheet of data, rows of information and columns of that data changing over years. Don't miss my video on how to change a photo of information into a spreadsheet. The second thing you need is a fantastic, easy tool set for the racing bar chart. I've got the link in the description section below. And the third item is a tool set to record the racing graph so that you can add it to a post or a video up on YouTube. TechSmith have two tools, Snagit and Camtasia. I use Camtasia for it and for all of my videos. I've added the link in the description as well. Alternatively, you could also use my tip on screen recording on your iPhone or your iPad. So the example I'm going to use is the top 15 super funds by assets under management in Australia. So firstly, let's go to the link that I've provided in the description to Flourish. This is a great data visualization tool and you can see in the examples that they have three styles of racing bar graphs. Let's choose one and you'll need to set up an account. Now it can be a free account, but if you're going to utilize these a lot, or if you're using private data, then you should sign up for the personal or the business account. So I'm signing in and I'm going to choose to create the visualization. It opens with example data already in place and lets me see that previewing the graph. If I just had simple data, I could change the cells down in the section below. But I'm going to load my data in by clicking on the import button and choosing my file. My data loads in and I can then ensure that the columns are linked to show the tool the information it needs. Which column has the row titles, the yearly data, if there is groupings or categorization of the data, and if there are URLs to the images in one of the columns. And in the bottom section it shows if I want to have captions to show at on top of the graph to explain some of the movement. Let's see how my graph looks with just the basic setup. Not bad, but there are some areas I'd like to adjust and all of these tweaks are available over on the right menu. I'm going to quickly go through and do some adjustments. And the really great thing with this tool is that you can see those changes immediately as you do them in this preview window. I can choose the total number of items it is going to show, so the top 10 or the top 15. I can adjust the year size and the color that it is. I can adjust the font size in general on the graph. You can use different colors for those different categories and that's easy just by choosing a different palette or you can adjust to your own color branding by customizing the palette. And this is important I think because then you can see in the legend what each of those colors stand for in the groupings. Importantly, I can adjust the speed at which this racing bar chart races through the years. Now this is really important because if it's too fast, it's just a blur. 
if it's too slow then it's going to be boring and it won't attract attention because this will be displaying on my page I definitely want a heading put in place to describe what this is showing and I'm going to put footers in place where I can put in um, references for the data and links for those and I can also add my logo and make it the right size on the image. I mentioned captions earlier and you can add these to the display for a period by going to the second tab and the captions area. Choose the year period, so the start and the end period and put in the text beside it and you can have multiple ones so one showing in different year periods you do have to be careful as it will hide the data uh, in the middle of the graph behind it um, but it could be very useful on some to show why data might have had dramatic changes once you're happy with it you can publish it and you have options here so if you want to embed it you can do that onto your website in my case I'm going to go to the link and this is where I'm going to record it with my tool set Camtasia's um, screen recording will let me frame the area that I want to record and then I have a wizard that walks me through what types of videos I want to produce or you could use the screen record on the iPhone and I've added the link to that video down below as well. At the end you've got some really cool videos that you can load onto your YouTube channel, your Facebook page or your LinkedIn page. And I've got examples like my fund managers, top 15 fund managers, the different super sectors, how they've changed in value over the years or my fun one of the state of origin try scorers over the years. I've got the links for all of those down below. I hope you found this tip helpful. To make sure you see future tips and reviews, click on the subscribe button below. Uh, make sure you click on the bell beside it to get notifications of when I load um, a video up. Or join my Facebook pages. I have a page for Automate Now, which is for small businesses to help simplify software and social media and I have a Nikki Tech Tips page as well to help with iPhone and Facebook tips. Now don't forget to subscribe.